Mike here. Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome to episode three of Funko Fun TV. Yeah, Mike, we got a great show for everybody. Way more product exclusives reveals. Everybody said they wanted more of that. We got you covered. More celebrity shout outs, more Funko Fanatic shout outs. What do you think about that? I think it's great, but remember, this is the month of November. That's Thanksgiving. You know what I have to be thankful for? Uh, What's that, Mike? It's you, buddy. Fun TV is a chance for me to spend more time with Brian together forever. Together forever. It's a bit more creepy, time. but I have a feeling Mike be we going can, into we another can dream sequence. Enjoy our company. Not another dream sequence, Mike. We can we can forever together. Forever together. Hand on my heart. Apple of my eye. Stitch one, pearl two. Hey, Brian, hurry, it's about to begin. I know, I know. I just had to warm up our tea. Oh, look at that. Dorothy's wearing a bowling shirt. Hey, looks like Blanche is too. All of the DG girls are wearing bowling shirts. You're right. It's like a dream come true. It is a dream come true. The new Golden Girls Pops from Funko. Sophia, Blanche, Dorothy, and Rose, ready to bowl you over, now. Oh, girls. Fun, 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 fanatic shout out. What's up, fanatics? I'm Emilio, also known as Emo Gogo, and I just want to say how much I love Funko and all the amazing friends I've made along the way. Funko really means family. Keep having fun, everyone. Hey, fanatic, I'm John. I love Colin Funko. It's a lot of fun. The day off them. Hey, what's up, fanatics? Herman here, aka Cheesemo, Sergeant, United States Marine Corps. Just wanted to say thank you so much to Funko for uh, giving love to veterans. Second year in a row means a lot to us. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to the United Funko family. I love you, awesome nerds. Nerds unite. <laughs> Fun TV. Hey everybody, got some exciting announcements for you right now. First of all, this is the month of November. You know what that means, Veterans Day. In honor of our great men and women in the armed forces, Funko created this t-shirt. That's right, where 100% of the proceeds goes back to Operation Homefront. It's a very neat organization, operationhomefront.org. So check it out. Just one little thing we could do to show our appreciation to you vets. Also, wait till you hear this. This is going to be insane. What I really wanted to say was... We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for this special presentation. The Great Serial Debate. We now go live to the debate floor where our moderator is standing by and ready to begin. Good evening from the Funko Fun TV Studios. I'm your moderator, Bob. Welcome to the first of the great serial debates between CEO Brian R. Mariotti and Michael Leo Becker. We're here today to debate the age-old question, which is better, Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles? On my left, Brian Mariotti, for Cocoa Pebbles. Hello, America. Choose chocolate for a breakfast you can trust. And on my right, the fruity candidate, Michael Becker. Come on, folks. Root for fruit. Root for fruit. Can you dig it? 
Can you dig it? Mr. Becker, do you know anything about Fruity Pebbles? I'd like to think I do. Mr. Becker, I know Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone is a friend of mine. And Mr. Becker, you're no Fred Flintstone. That was uncalled for. Mr. Mariotti, we have it on good authority. You said publicly many times that Fruity Pebbles, not Cocoa Pebbles, is your favorite breakfast cereal. (laughs) I've got no recollection of ever saying anything remotely like that. Cue the tape, please. What's your favorite breakfast cereal? It's Fruity Pebbles. I just want the Funko fanatics to know that Fruity Pebbles, not Cocoa Pebbles, are where it's at. Now that's the fruit. You want the fruit? You can't handle the fruit. Who are these guys? Stay the course. Um, um, thousand points of fruit. Uh, 60% of the time, it works every time. Huh? Mr. Mariotti, tear down that box. Gentlemen, please, please. Ask not what your Fruity Pebbles can do for you, but what you can do for your Fruity Pebbles. Show me the milk. Show me the milk. Mm. What a fruity treat. So sweet to eat. Oh, it is so delectable delight. Mm. Mm. I'll have what he's having. (laughs) I knew it! (gasps) I got you with the old cereal switcheroo. (laughs) You, my friend, are a cereal liar. I know you are, but what am I? Well, there you have it. The clear winner tonight is the new Funko Cereal Pops. That's it, folks, for tonight's debate. Good night. There is no debate. These Pop Pals are both... Winners! A vote for one is a vote for fun. Celebrity Shoutouts! Hey everybody, my name is Cody Miller. I'm an Olympic swimmer who collects Harry Potter Funko Pops. I did not realize until I got on Twitter the day I qualified for the Olympics that I was the first American swimmer that Indiana had produced in 40 years. This is my Funko Pop room. I started collecting them with my wife a few years ago, and now we have well over 200 Funko Pops. My favorites are probably this Basilisk, the Basilisk, that thing, just because it looks so cool, and also Death Eater Lucius right there. That's also one of my favorites, but honestly, there's there's a whole lot to choose from in in this room. (laughs) Rapid Fire Fun with Carrie Elwes. Gary Elways, Andrew Perlmutter. I'm the uh, president at Funco. It's great to meet you. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to be right. talking to you this morning. Uh, what was your favorite comic book character and why? It was Casper the Friendly Ghost. It was given to me by a friend, and I thought I'd die and gone to heaven. It was my first introduction to American culture as a child. Which was better, the Brady Bunch or the Partridge family? Hard to pick. I found the family fascinating because they got to sing, and I was in love with Susan Day completely. And I love the Brady Bunch because I love the way they all uh, dealt with issues and, and handled them in a, in a funny way. And so it was very, I, I couldn't pick one between the other. Got it. Well, the correct answer was the Brady Bunch. So we'll, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll <laughs> <on that one. laughs> What was your favorite cartoon character as a kid? Daffy. Daffy was absolutely genius to me. Mel Blanc's characters were just beyond genius as a kid, right? I mean, I don't think there's any kid who grew up in that era watching uh, Warner Brothers cartoons and not be, Im- be impressed by, by the talent of, of Mr. Blank. yeah. Who was your Charles. favorite wrestler of all time? Well, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hardball one, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I've only ever m- loved one wrestler, and that would be the great Andre Rusimov, also known as Andre the Giant. Yes, um, yes. He was the most beautiful man 
you'll ever you'll ever want to meet in life. He he was filled with love and compassion and sweetness and uh, and joy. By the way, can I just say to you, I'm so excited that you're finally doing an Andre the Giant Funko. I I know from the fan standpoint, they've been asking me forever. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was great. Yeah. You have a great day. Funko Fun TV. That was awesome. Princess Bride, one of my favorite movies of all time. What do you think? How about Liar Liar? Now that's a classic. It is a classic. I love that. But you know what's also a classic? Hmm. Soda. Our brand new vinyl line. Our fans love it. I love the product a lot. But you know what it's missing? Hmm. The face of soda. Somebody who's the ambassador. Someone who's the hype master. Someone who's going to go out there, interact with the fans, get them all excited about what's coming up next. Tell them about why you love soda and why soda is so great. I can do it. I can do it. I don't know, Mike. I mean, are you the right guy for this? I'm the right guy. Just tell me what to do. Soda, get you soda. Brand new from Funko, Thanos, Sonic the Hedgehog. We've got it all. Hey, Andrew. What's going on, man? I got the new Duck Dodger soda from Funko. It's refreshingly fun. What do you say? <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. Soda! <laughs> Get your soda. Sir, buy your kid a soda? Oh, hey, Rev, how about you? Right here, we got Duck Dodgers. Refreshingly fun for the whole family. <laughs> it's new, it's from Funko. It's, it's, it's soda. Becker. Brian? How you doing, man? I keep trying, but nobody's buying. Hey, man, keep it up. You're doing a great job. I got you. All right. Soda. Get your soda. New. New from Funko. Give him a couple hours. He'll catch on. Introducing your new soda starting lineup. Harley Quinn, Thanos, Scareglow, Duck Dodgers, Leatherface, Sonic the Hedgehog, Rocksteady, and Snake Plissken. Funko Soda. Refreshingly fun for any event. Special. Fun, 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 fun. Fanatic shout out! Yup! Oh, hey Funko Fanatics. My name is Paul Scardino, the pop enthusiast, and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest Funko Pop collection. One doesn't amass a collection this size uh, for something they don't love, and I absolutely love Funko. To me, Funko perfectly represents my love of pop culture and is a bridge to others that share that same passion for our favorite characters and stories, which connect us on a much deeper level than we may realize. So remember, there's no place like home, Akuna Matata, and may the force be with you. Howdy everyone, my name is Jacob Martindale, or some of you might know me as Mr. Collected on Instagram or the Funko Fanatic message boards. Not too long ago, Funko had their own little sweepstakes contest where it gave independent artists like myself the chance to design and create the next fantastic plastic Funko Pop design. I am the designer of Cutie Corn. There he is in all of his glory. This is a dream come true, y'all. Y'all have no idea. As an artist, this is like, I may have peaked a little bit. Funko Fun TV! Four hours out in the sun, you know, trying to sell soda for you and they're, they're all cardboard cutouts. <laughs> Man, I owed you. That uh, CEO in the hot seat bit last time was, uh, was tough, but it's the least I could do. Hey, but now you made me late. Late for what? Late for the gym, man. I got to pump it up. You know, iron and pecs and glutes and abs and stuff. So I, I got to head out, man. I, I got to go. I'm going to the gym. All right. Really, I'm going to the gym. Right. Speaking of manly stuff, I got to rock the scale. Some, some rock climbing, some freestyle action. So I'll see you. Brian? Is that you? Going rock climbing, huh? I thought you were at the gym pumping iron. Really? What are you doing here, man? I promised our local Brony chapter a first look at our original Main 6 Funko Pop Ponies. Oh, hey, you must be the new guy. Hi, how's it going? Good. I see you met our chapter president, Mike. Chapter president, huh? Come on in. Everyone's here. Just come on in. Let's have some fun. Oh, bro. 
It's my little pony. Cotton candy is the coolest. I love minty. Have you seen butterscotch? Ooh. So cute. So cute. I love butterscotch. Oh, cool. I get to be minty. <laughs> nope. I got minty. Cotton candy, minty, blossom, bluebell, snuzzle, and butterscotch. Now that's what friendship's all about. Fun, 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 fanatic shout out! What's up, fanatics? This is Christine from San Diego. Just want to say hi to my Funko family all over the world and stay safe. Ding! Hey, fanatics, Chris Masicampo. Shout out to the Fun Boys, Busters, and the rest of my Funko fam. Also, thank you, Funko, for always making it about more than just collecting. I'll see you around. Till then, love and aloha. Hey Fanatics, Afro Freddy here from Tacoma, Washington. I may have lost the Afro, but I did not lose the love and compassion I have for this company and everyone it's brought into my life. So thank you, Funko, and can't wait to see everyone again. Funko Fun TV! Well, that's a wrap, Mike, on Funko Fun TV Episode 3. That was a really good time. I had a good time. It was fun and maybe our best episode yet. But get ready. Our special edition holiday episode for December is going to be coming soon. Hey, I look forward to that. And for everybody at Funko, we want to say thank you. Have a great holiday season, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you on the next episode of Funko Fun TV.